New at six, a local hairstylist uses her talents to help people battling a potentially deadly disease. Damia Engelman started a charity called Maggie's Hair Blessings. Angela Ingram shows us how her work helps lift the spirits of women surviving cancer. I always put the um, stocking cap on their hair first, just for protection. There's magic in her hands. She's fast, but Demia Engelman is also precise with each cut. And every bend of the flat iron, Demia's gift is styling hair. Having your hair done and just waking up, it just, it just does something to you. It does something for you. She works at Kyra Hair Salon, but today Demia's using her skills for free to help Florence Malone. In June of this year, 2019, I was diagnosed with triple negative stage two, triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative is a very aggressive cancer um, that's more prone for African-American women. And so they had to treat it very aggressively. Florence began losing her hair after chemotherapy. She heard about Demia's charity called Maggie's Hair Blessings. I make custom wigs for cancer patients or survivors. Um, I make them all by hand and I, everyone gets them for free for the whole month of October. Demia has loved doing hair for years, but this particular event has a special place in her heart. She does all of this in memory of her grandmother. She was diagnosed with cancer, then she was in remission, and then it came back. Although Maggie Daniels never lost her hair while she battled cancer, Demia decided to name her charity after her grandmother. Sometimes it's like devastating to women, you know, to lose our hair because we're not used to it. Not to say they're not beautiful with the bald head, but, you know, it makes us a part of us. Florence finally gets to see her new look. Oh, wow. <laughs> And the tears in Florence's eyes remind Amia that her grandmother would be proud. In Bond Hill, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. She looks beautiful. Engelman's event is Saturday from 7 to 11. It's at 2631 Gilbert Avenue, and we do have that flyer posted at local12.com.